Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss the imbalance of electrolytes. First of all is sodium. Its main function is to uh, help in the water balance and uh, to perform the neuromuscular function of the body. I will not go into the much detail, detail because you have studied uh, these electrolytes as minerals in the first year. Uh, normal sodium levels include um, uh, normal serum sodium levels include 135 to 145 milli equivalent per liter. Uh, sodium uh, deficiency or sodium in excess. They are main clinical symptoms or conditions which are present in the body. Now hyponatremia is it is called as uh, low sodium level in the blood and when there is less concentration of sodium in the body uh, in severe hyponatremia there is uh, a less than 120 milli equivalent uh, per liter of the body of the sodium is the uh, is present symptoms of hyponatremia include nausea abdominal cramps headache anemia muscle weakness paralysis disorientation slowed breathing, seizure and coma. The main causes of hyponatremia include a high volume uh, when there is uh, uh, both the concentration of sodium and water increases. Increase in sodium uh, content leads to hypervolemia and uh, uh, cirrhosis of liver uh, there is congestive heart failure when there is nephrotic sy syndrome and excessive drinking of the fluid. Uh, these can cause hyponatremia. In normal volume expansion, uh, no, there is no edema, edema but uh, it can cause hyponatremia. Uh, in previous lecture, you have studied uh, this cause in de detail. The main reasons of uh, these, this condition includes uh, there is inappropriate production of antidiuretic hormone uh, that is also you have studied in previous lecture and hypothyroidism and when there is not enough production of adrenocorticotropin uh, hormone then there is also uh, this condition of hyponatremia may arise. And also in um, hypovolemia, hypovolemia, uh, the, there is a, a loss of the sodium from the body and uh, relatively smaller losses in total body water. There is uh, main exception uh, condition is that there is total loss of the uh, sodium from the body. It can cause uh, 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 the condition of hyponatremia when there is prolonged vomiting when there is severe diarrhea or when there is decrease oral intake of the sodium excessive use of diuretic and uh, in addition disease in pancreatitis and uh, uh, in marathon runners uh, it can, there is a hyponatremia condition in multiple myeloma, my, my, myeloma and in metabolic pathways when there is hyperglycemia and ketoacidosis and uh, its treatment is that uh, sodium deficit is replaced as isotonic saline. And now uh, there are the clinical manifestation of hyponatremia that is the body parts where it affects mainly and causes different symptoms uh, in central nervous system uh, it can cause restlessness uh, lethargy when there is low amount of sodium then the effect on CNS is that it can cause ataxia irritability and so on uh, in uh, musculoskeletal there is weakness uh, in metabolic pathways there is a metabolic uh, at metabolic level there is fever um, cardiovascular system is also affected and there are uh, symptoms of tachycardia hypotension and in tissues 
dry uh, sticky mucous membrane red swollen tongue and uh, uh, in kidneys there is oliguria hypernatremia when excess amount of sodium is present in the body is more than 145 millimole per liter and uh, uh, there are two types of sim symptoms that is early symptoms and severe system, uh, symptoms in early symptoms when there is uh, uh, there is little bit high amount of sodium this includes high amount of thirst weakness nausea and loss of appetite and when there is severe uh, type of uh, um, hypernatremia uh, then there is confusion muscle twitching or bleeding uh, in or around the brain other causes of uh, hypernatremia includes cushing syndrome if there is pro prolonged cortisone therapy and uh, excessive use of steroid hormone because they cause the retention of the sodium and when there is excessive intake of the salt uh, when there is uh, impaired uh, uh, function of adrenal gland when there is dehydration due, due to the loss of volume uh, blood volume is decreased then concentration of sodium is increased and in uh, old age people with poor water intake and uh, due to the use of different types of drugs like tetracycline, diuretics and certain psychoactive drugs. Uh, next uh, uh, electrolyte mainly that uh, is important to regulate the water and electrolyte balance of the body and helps in uh, maintenance of the body pH is the potassium. Uh, it also helps in a neuromuscular function and maintains the osmotic pressure, uh, transmission of nerve impulse and it is used to maintain uh, the normal heartbeat. The normal serum potassium level is from 3.5 to 5.2 millimole per liter. Uh, again, uh, either it is hypokalemia uh, or uh, hyperkalemia. Hypokalemia when there is low level of potassium in the blood serum. Its symptoms are weakness, paralysis, irregular heartbeat uh, and uh, tetany, muscle pain uh, and constipation and uh, abnormal heart rhythm and it can also cause cardiac arrest. The causes of hypokalemia include severe dehydration, uh, hyperaldosteronism, kidney disease, long-term diuretic therapy, when there is a low amount of magnesium in the body and uh, intake of uh, excessive steroids and adrenal gland uh, uh, impairment, when there is diarrheal condition in the body. Uh, treatment of hypokalemia includes uh, intake or administration of potassium chloride mainly to correct the uh, metabolic abnormalities of hypokalemia. And hyperkalemia when there is excess amount of potassium level in the body. Uh, main symptoms are palpitation, muscle pain or muscle weakness, nausea, abdominal pain irregular breathing and diarrhea. Main causes are uh, ketoacidosis and uh, myocardial infarction when there is severe burn or kidney failure or body is in fasting condition and uh, when there is uh, excessive eating, eating followed by periods of fasting when there is gastrointestinal bleeding again adrenal insufficiency when there is excessive use of diuretic drugs and uh, uh, when there are use of certain medication that can cause a uh, high amount of potassium in the blood like uh, um, uh, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and so on. Treatment of hypo, hyperkalemia includes uh, gluconate, bicarbonate solution, 
sodium bicarbonate solution and it can cause uh, sorry it it will shift the uh, potassium to the cell to maintain the level of potassium then sulfonate drugs and uh, in severe cases if it, it is not uh, uh, covering from the medicine then dialysis to remove the potassium from the uh, serum hypomagnesemia when uh, uh, there is a low level of magnesium in the body and the symptoms includes uh, weight loss uh, leg and foot cramps vomiting muscle spasm muscle weakness and arrhythmia uh, causes of hypomagnesemia when there is inadequate intake of magnesium uh, when there is high amount of intake of alcohol or malnutrition or there is malabsorption of uh, magnesium in pancreatitis condition burn condition when there is hyperparathyroidism or there are different GIT disorders or when there is excessive use of diuretics hypermagnesemia when there is high amount of uh, magnesium present in the serum uh, symptoms includes lethargy hypertension uh, degrees uh, heart and respiratory rates muscle weakness and diminished tendon reflex uh, its causes and treatment uh, when there is uh, renal disease then there is hypomagnesemia when there is addison disease then it can cause hypomagnesemia or uh, sorry hypermagnesemia uh, and when there is overdose of magnesium salt then there is also uh, hypermagnesemia uh, treatment of uh, hypermagnesemia first line of defense is calcium infusion to reduce the impair, uh, symptoms of impaired breathing irregular heartbeat and hypotension and uh, Uh, saline infusion with the with diuretic or dialysis to get rid of excess magnesium then chloride and uh, chloride metabolism or sorry chloride intake uh, in is in parallel to the intake and output of sodium that is they go by and side and side and uh, normal range of chloride is from 97 to 107 Uh, milliequivalent per liter and uh, daily excretion of chloride is 5 to 8 mg per liter uh, it mainly regulate blood pressure and uh, also like uh, other electrolytes it's maintain the uh, body water balance and it causes the production of hcl in the stomach then hypochloremia low level of uh, chloride in the blood Uh, the symptoms are hypoventilation respiratory acidosis uh, and alkalosis due to vomiting and in cystic fibrosis in mental confusion in paralysis or in mental tension uh, the main causes is uh, the depletion of sodium and potassium like uh, hyponatremia and hypokalemia and uh, severe depletion of uh, chlorine level from the so serum in metabolic alkalosis and its treatment is uh, through uh, intravenous fluid to maintain the balance of the uh, hypochloremia and also adjustment of uh, balanced diet and uh, um, in these condition chlorine is uh, uh, chloride is given through the diet to maintain the normal level of um, chloride ion in the body hyperchloremia when there is excess amount of uh, chloride ion in the body and uh, uh, its symptoms and causes a uh, cosmol breathing uh, when there is excessive production of acid and then there is high production of chloride ion and uh, uh, due to the weakness due to uh, headache nausea cardiac arrest 
and main causes are edema, dehydration, hypertension, uh, cardiovascular function, weakness, thirst, respiratory alkalosis, and hypochloramic metabolic acidosis and high blood sugar. Uh, thank you so much uh, for today's lecture. If you have any question regarding these uh, this lecture, then please let me know.